Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GRNQ. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Not sure what I mean by 30-minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Quite the eventful day today, not only from the price action standpoint, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one moving forward. So let's map out some areas of support, and then we can talk levels of resistance. Unfortunately, though, it was a pretty, pretty rough day. In fact, in trading terminology, this is what... Uh, would be known as a gap and trap. Now, if you're not sure what I mean by gap and trap, what does that mean? Well, on Friday, the price closed right there. And then this morning, the price opened up there. So in this situation, a gap up and a very, very, very big gap up and a, a, a eventful opening part of the day. But the point here being is there is lots of poor souls that were buying up around this area. And you can tell that by you look at the, the volume down here and that's when the volume was the largest. But you can see after all of that, it's just been selling pressure ever since then. So a lot of people are currently underwater on it. So that's the gap and trap that it's taken place, which is now leads to some of these very important levels of support moving forward. And the main level, at least in my opinion, that really stands out is down here at $1.50, which is what I would call the must hold area. So I'm not saying this is what's going to occur, but just for explanation's sake, if the price were to come down to $1.50, behave in that manner and then continue on down, what would that be doing to the price? Well, that would quite literally be putting the price right back inside of this big old range that it just broke out of today. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true power, true strength, or anything like that. Now, again, to be fair, I'm not saying that's what's going to occur, but that is why $1.50 is certainly an important level to, uh, to watch moving forward from the support side of things. Now, in the event the price decides it wants to just turn itself around and start to work its way back upwards, as far as areas of resistance are concerned, that first key level will be up there at $2.10. And then after two ten. Next key level up there right around $2.50. So all in all, very eventful day. Yeah, things are looking pretty shaky right now, but we'll see if the price can try to get things turned around. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.